Today I'm in Lincolnshire in England and trying to track down the grave of Stan Laurel's father. I'm in the village of Baxton in Lincolnshire in England. This house just in front of us. Going back to the 1940s, this house was a pub known as the Plough Inn and it was owned by Stan Laurel's sister, Olga, and her husband, Bill. Living with them until his death in 1949 was Stan Laurel's father, Arthur Jefferson, known as AJ. In January 1947, Laurel and Hattie were on tour in Britain. OJ, Olga and Bill missed their arrival because they were snowed in here in Baxton. But in March of the same year there was an opportunity for them to meet and Stan and Dolly came here. And Stan saw his father for the first time in 13 years. They had a great time here having fun and playing darts with the locals. And when they were leaving to go into the taxi just outside here there was a huge crowd of people gathered and they played up to the crowd as they were going into their taxi. AJ had worn his best suit to meet his son for the first time in 13 years. The last time AJ met his son, he actually stayed with him in Los Angeles for a whole year. AJ died in Baxton in 1949 at the age of 86. In 1950, Olga and Bill left the Plough Inn to take over the Bull Inn in Botsford. Stan and Dolly would visit them on regular occasions when they were touring in the UK. This is St Nicholas Church in the village. And this is where AJ's funeral was held. Now AJ was a multi-talented theatrical actor and he was actually quite famous in his day. As well as being an actor, he was also a dramatist and his plays would tour around the UK and also abroad sometimes. I did have a little bit of a panic earlier because I couldn't locate the grave here and the simple reason for that is he wasn't buried in this churchyard but he is buried nearby some really old graves in this cemetery just have a look at one or two of them before we go to the other graveyard to see AJ's grave I actually filmed a video about Stan Laurel when I was in Los Angeles. That video will be on YouTube soon. In that video I visit his grave and, uh, and one or two other locations associated with him. And I did visit one of the filming locations from one of the Lauren Hattie films whilst I was there. Okay, let's go and see Arthur Jefferson's grave, which is only a short distance away from here. If you're a Laurel and Hardy fan, let me know which Laurel and Hardy films you like in the comment section. My favourite is the one with the boat, but I can't remember the, its name. Okay, so Nicholas Church is just behind those trees over there. And here's the cemetery where Arthur Jefferson is buried. I've already been here so I know exactly where, he, where he's buried. Arthur retired in 1942 and he came to live with his daughter here in Baxton. And this is where he died in 1949. And here's the gravestone. A.J. Arthur Jefferson, 1862 until 1949, husband of Margaret. Oh, his wife is, actually, is not buried here, she's actually buried in Glasgow in Scotland. And I'm sure up until recently she was actually buried in an unmarked grave there. 
and it goes on, father of Stan Laurel, master of comedy. Then the headstone names his four siblings. George died in Manchester in 1938 at the age of 53. Beatrice Olka died in 1976 at the age of 81. His brother Sidney died when he was only four months old. And his brother Edward died in Santa Monica in 1933 at the age of 33. And he had an unusual cause of death. He suffered a heart attack following an overdose of laughing gas at the dentist. He was born in Ulverston in Lancashire in 1890. This is actually where Stan Laurel was born as well. And he also lived in Glasgow for a time, where he worked as a theatre manager. And his wife, Margaret, Stan's mother, was also an actress. He actually used to rub shoulders with the likes of Charles Dickens and Bram Stoker at one time. The first fully formed Lauren Hardy film was actually based on a comedy sketch that Arthur Jefferson had written in 1906. And Stan actually played a role in that sketch when he was a teenager. Stan would later write his clean play based on the sketch and the Lauren Hardy film Duck Soup was released in 1927. And this film was instrumental in Laurel and Hardy's success. As he lived to an old age, his former fame had long passed, and he died in obscurity in 1949. Now, the gravesite had actually been long forgotten until somebody remembered one day that Stan Laurel's father was actually buried in the cemetery. There's a Laurel and Hardy Appreciation Society called The Sons of the Desert, named after one of their films. And they got involved. And between them and members of Stan Laurel's family, they arranged for this headstone to be placed here. Now, for them to place this headstone here, I'm presuming that AJ was either buried in an unmarked grave, or he had a very simple marker. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Let me know which Lauren Hattie film you like the best. Just uh, leave something in the comment section for me. And please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Oh, actually, one more thing. I keep putting up my Instagram account. Please, please subscribe and follow my Instagram. Please, just tell me what's on your mind. Because I don't have time to figure it out. Figure it out. We haven't been our best for long I think that we're just holding on to something That won't work out Maybe we should walk away Just say goodbye and go our separate ways